Hello there, Pisces. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of November 2022. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in getting a personal private reading with me, there is the link to my website in the description box underneath the video. Again, this is a general love reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Please keep an open mind. Remember, these messages may not be for every single person who watches. All right, so let's see what's going on in love and relationships for my fishy friends, my Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on here. Pull a couple messages from the Oracle deck first. All right, you've got fire. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign or have strong fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, somebody might have been not thinking before they spoke or someone's just out here causing trouble. Could be dealing with someone who may actually work as a firefighter. Um, but yeah, somebody, somebody does not think before they speak. They don't think about other people's feelings before they do or speak. And then you've got love, true love and fidelity. So I feel like someone could have been reckless with your heart. Um, it can also be the other way around. Okay. We all have to own our shit, right? Um, so some of us out here, there's a lot of passion. This might have to do with true love. Someone has a heart of gold, literally, and they got burned for no reason. Um, they were offering true love and fidelity and somebody was reckless and just got burned here. All right. What else is going on for Pisces, please, spirit? Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cuss, please, spirit. Oops. Okay. Off the bottom, you've got the sun. Okay. Um, I'm hearing or seeing the poem the flight of icarus where he got too he's too ambitious got too close to the sun and got burned here especially right under fire you could also be dealing with a leo but there's also a blessed union of souls here it's the birth of something new it's clarity um it's joy happiness union it's represented by archangel michael who we have hanging out here presiding over the readings this month um but there's healing, okay, after hurting somebody or getting hurt. I'll keep going here. Ace of Wands, this is that inspiration, okay. Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups. On the bottom, you have the seven of swords somebody is in denial about their feelings here they may also need to come back and apologize they're holding back their true feelings here there's unspoken love this could be a new relationship as well for somebody somebody's in denial somebody thinks they're getting away with something they were reckless with your heart Liars, cheaters, truth is going to catch up to somebody here. They're not going to get away with this. Okay? Somebody needs to be held to account for what they did, and they need to apologize. Okay? There could be, there could be an apology here. Okay? An offer from the heart. Okay? I'm trying to get these up where you guys can see them better. But yeah, somebody somebody needs to, they're holding back here. Or they're holding on and don't want to let go 
um, even though they know this person isn't good for them, they're holding on. You could be holding on to somebody that all you guys do is fight and argue. You know, um, so it could go either way here. Either somebody got burned and hurt, they were lied to, tricked, deceived, and somebody needs to apologize. But somebody's holding back. Somebody's also in denial of their true feelings. There could also be some sort of, you know, toxic relationship here as well. All right, let's grab another deck. We're going to clarify the majors here. Why is fire here? Reckless actions lead to conflict. Four of Swords, yeah. They're thinking, resting, taking a break, okay? Planning, plotting, and strategizing, trying to figure out their next move. They've been through a lot of stuff. Um, you guys could be taking a break from this relationship and then coming back together after somebody apologizes. Somebody's just, you know, giving up. Things didn't work out, so now it's time to regroup and figure out what's next. Clarify love here, true love and fidelity. Yeah, three of cups, reunion, celebration, get together, drunken debauchery here. It looks like these uh, chicks are having a good time at the masquerade ball. There's some sort of reunion. Maybe you ran into this person and... Now they're conflicted because they know they hurt you and they want to get together and celebrate. They want to be back together, but they're, they've been in denial. They did not see how amazing this relationship could have been. It's like coulda, woulda, shoulda type of energy here. But now they see it. Okay. Okay. Now they see it. Clarify the sun. Can't deny this any longer. It's like out, everything's out in the open, out in the spotlight. Nine of swords. Okay. This is opposing energy here. Just, you know, worried, stressed. Okay. Anxious, having nightmares. She looks like she's sleepwalking. Go to the light. Go to the light. Somebody somebody might have uh, gone through the dark night of the soul. They've gone through a lot of stress. They've been in denial. They can't, they can't shake this. All they do is think about, it's like you show up in their dreams. They show up in your dreams. Somebody's been in the dark for so long, and now they finally see the light. Now they see this relationship that, you know, could have been something wonderful. But they've been holding back and denying their true feelings all along. Peek on the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the Three of Swords. There's been heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal, grief. This person caused you a lot of grief. Or again, it could be vice versa. Maybe, you know, you didn't think this person was the right one for you or you might have said something and hurt somebody's feelings and you need to make amends okay somebody's in denial go from the three to the four this is heartbreaking heartbreaking because somebody was not truthful they were sneaking around they were lying lying to themselves lying to other people they need to apologize they're holding back. Deep down, they really do love you. They do really want to reunite with you. And this is stressful. I've, they're like beating themselves up. They don't know how to go about making things right. And every time they see you, you might they might run into them while you're out and about. It tears them up. They might not show it, 
They're being very poker faced, but it tears them up. All right, let's get an advice message here. Here we've got Mother Mary, Mary, and tiny baby Jesus, and a lamb. There's peace coming. Um, I think around Christmas time for somebody here, they might finally have the courage to make things right, apologize, because they just want peace. It's, it's tearing them apart. They just want peace. Okay. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Underneath, just want to show you that as new beginnings. So there's a possibility of a reunion here with a divine blessed soulmate connection here. Let's get some love messages for you. Can I get some love messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? This is a beautiful but heartbreaking reading for some of you. All right. First message out is fondness. Gently honor the soft feelings between you. Don't rush right now. They still are very fond of you. They might hide it. They might act gruff like they don't care. But deep down, they're just mush. They're mush around you. Got promise all dreams are possible with this love. It could lead to marriage or some sort of this is some deep soulmate connection here. Okay. This could also be unrequited love. Um, someone could be in love with someone who's already married. There could have been a third party situation here. Destiny point, which path will you take? Follow your dreams or stay in your comfort zone? Somebody might be stressed out because they've been keeping themselves stuck where they don't belong, especially if they're messing with somebody who's who belongs to somebody else here. And they're in denial of the person that they should be with who is available. This is also a destined and faded love connection. And then you've got time. Divine time is keeping you together. True love is timeless. So maybe they just needed time to get their shit together or you needed time. Um, you know, what is meant for you will never pass you by, Pisces. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I am available for personal readings. Um, check out my website. All of the information you need to schedule an appointment with me is there at my website. Until I see you again, Pisces, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.